How does Leslie hope you're well? In this video, I want to take a look at the longer time frame weekly chart of Bitcoin and ask ourselves what is this potentially telling us right now about the chart of Bitcoin? And actually, is it likely or possible that a bear market pattern could be confirmed on the chart of Bitcoin? Join me. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, before I begin, I know it's possible that when you saw the title for this video, I know it's possible some of you probably thought to yourself, oh, Alessio is being bearish again in his videos or FUD, something like that. But let me just say this very quickly, that if you've been watching my recent videos, my previous videos, I've been very restrained. So while a lot of people out there, while many chartists out there quickly jumped on the bandwagon of calling this a bear market. So I know many chartists out there, as soon as Bitcoin dropped by about 50%, they immediately call this a bear market, but I did not do that. I did not jump on that bandwagon. What I said was, look, let's wait and be patient for a bear market pattern. And for that pattern, we have to go on the weekly chart. OK, so if you recall in my previous videos, I said, let's be patient and wait for a likely bear market pattern to develop before we say this is a bear market. And in case you're wondering what is that bear market pattern, please go ahead and watch my previous video on this. I explain this in a lot of detail. But just to give you a quick summary, it essentially comes down to this. There are two things you need to see for a bear market confirmation. The first is, for example, rallies getting rejected. So when you see rallies in price getting rejected, when you see rallies failing, that's one sign of a potential bear market. The second sign of a bear market is this. So when you see a pattern like this, this is what's called a break of market structure on different time frames. Remember, guys, for a bear market to be confirmed, you need to see a break of structure, not just on the daily time frame. So it is not enough just to see support breaking on the daily time frame or the four hour time frame, but also on the weekly time frame. OK, so it's very important to see structure breaking on the higher time frames as well. And that at the moment has not yet happened. So if you look at the structure one more time, Essentially, as I said to you in my previous video, for a bear market, what you need to see is something like this. First, a drop or a crash below the 21 and the 34 weekly moving averages, which we did see on Bitcoin. Then a bounce back, ideally as close as possible to the 21 moving average. Sometimes price goes above it. But in any case, a move back towards the 21 weekly average and then a drop again to take out that support, the support low that was formed here. That next drop essentially breaks structure, breaks the market structure and confirms a bear market. That is something we see in almost every bear market, something like this. Again, a break of structure in multiple time frames and also price rallies getting rejected. Going on the chart of Bitcoin, here's what we can see. Firstly, did we see rallies getting rejected? Yes, because you can see this is again, this is a weekly chart. This is the higher time frame weekly chart of Bitcoin. Let's just zoom in here a little bit so we can see this closer. So notice that yeah, after Bitcoin dropped here, after this drop, which took it down to near 30,000, this bounce, this rally here did get rejected, which is often called a kiss of death, especially when it gets rejected and then drops back below the recent lows again. OK, so we did see price getting rejected. It's not a good sign. We also saw this bounce here, another bounce from here also getting rejected. But we are seeing price rallies getting rejected. That is one particular pattern that you see in a bear market. But the most important criteria for a bear market has not yet happened, which is what? Which is that structure needs to break. Market structure needs to break on the weekly time frame. Has market structure been broken on the higher time frame weekly chart? I would argue no. Why? Because take a look for yourself. You will notice the major drop that occurred here in Bitcoin, which took the price down below the 21 and the 34 moving averages. As you can see here, that resulted in a bounce. You can see that was a bounce which took it close to the 21, almost to the 21 weekly average. I'm a bit disappointed it didn't go a bit further above it or at least test this level. Didn't do that quite. It's a sign of weakness, by the way, it didn't test that level. And then it dropped back below it again, as you can see. So by the way, that was probably a false breakout. This drop here was probably a false breakout because it quickly recovered. But here's the bottom line. The bottom line is that we're now seeing two major support levels. That's this low here and this low here. The two levels are at 30,066 to 28,600. So this now is an important supporting structure. These two key levels are now very important support levels. OK, what does it mean? It means this. It means if Bitcoin cannot remain above these two support levels here, and if it drops below it, if price now drops and breaks below it, again, it's an if. If Bitcoin does that, 
then yes, I would have to argue that's breaking market structure, and therefore that could increase the probability that we're in a bear market or a downtrend. Now, I want to make it clear, I'm not saying Bitcoin is definitely going to do that, but it's something we have to wait and see. The fact that Bitcoin tried to get above the 21 weekly average, you can see here, it tried to, again to establish a bounce. It bounced back from this low and from this low, and each time it failed, it failed to get above the 21 weekly average. And in case you're wondering why does it matter, it matters because in almost every bull market, for example, if you take the bull market from 2015 to 2017 in Bitcoin, you will notice that Bitcoin managed to recover very quickly from drops to the 21 weekly average. Those drops, those pullbacks to the 21 weekly average managed to recover and bounce back and rally very quickly afterwards. Bitcoin has not done this. You can see Bitcoin has still remained below the 21 weekly average. After this drop, notice it spent several weeks now, several weeks now below the 21 weekly average. That is not a healthy sign. That's a sign of weakness in Bitcoin. Now, of course, maybe something will change in the next few days and weeks. We shall have to wait and see. But here's the bottom line. Here's the key point in this video. The key point is this. If Bitcoin confirms this bear market pattern, again, what's the pattern? A drop below the 21 and 34 weekly averages, bounce back towards the 21, and then another drop to take out the support zone, to take out support structure, that means a break of market structure on the weekly time frame that essentially confirms a bear market structure. And if Bitcoin does that, in other words, if Bitcoin now does that, let me just show you. So we've had this drop below the 21 and 34. We've had the bounce back towards the 21. And if Bitcoin now successfully manages to break below the supporting structure that you're seeing here between 30,066 to 28,600, if Bitcoin now drops below this as well and takes out the supporting structure, then yes, I would have to say with a high probability that in that situation, we would be in a likely bear market or downtrend, okay? That's why I've been patient and not jumped on the bandwagon of calling this a bear market like some other people have done. But again, let's wait and see what happens here. But again, if Bitcoin does that, if Bitcoin does drop below the supporting structure that you're seeing here, so if this level breaks to the downside here on Bitcoin, that essentially means that a bear market structure has been confirmed and it increases the risk to the downside. That is essentially what a bear market means. A bear market means that the path of least resistance is to the downside and that risk increases potentially towards the 25,000, 20,000 range. Now, I'm not saying Bitcoin is going to drop all the way to 20,000. It might do that. I mean, there's a risk of that happening. But all I'm saying in a bear market, the risk increases for further lows, for further selling pressure. All right, guys, that's really what I have here in this video. That's all I want to say for now. The question is, and the main thing is, let's wait and see if Bitcoin can actually break these two levels of support or not. Because at the moment, it is by no means certain. And let's face it, guys, Bitcoin has so far failed to get above the 21 weekly average. And it's also failed to establish an uptrend. On the daily time frame, we can see that still it is not managed. It has failed to establish an uptrend. There is no uptrend as yet, and there is no break of resistance as yet either. All right, guys, before I finish the video, let me just say this. I'm going to post a very interesting and important video this Saturday. It's about one important chart analyst that is predicting a stock market crash for this year. And it's going to be a very interesting, a fascinating video. That video is coming this Saturday. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. Thanks very much indeed. Bye for now. <music>